You know, yesterday, Mayor John Torres Executive Committee approved a proposal to expand the Vision Zero Road Safety Plan. Some of the $22 million budget increase to the city's Transportation Services Department may be earmarked for road signs and pavement markings for cyclists. All welcome news. But given the alarming rise in pedestrian and cyclist fatalities in the city this year, is enough being done to make our streets safer. Joining us now is Barbara Gray, General Manager of Transportation Services for the City of Toronto. Barbara, thank you very much for joining us this thanks, morning. Thanks for having me. Good to hear that we're that more money is coming in. Is that what's needed, or do we just need to rethink how we do things? Well, I think that the tools that we have, uh, our Vision Zero Road Safety Plan is a long-term plan to get us to zero fatalities on the roadway. We're committed to it. Uh, we have resources in the budget. The council has accelerated that plan four times since its inception. And the $22 million, which we'll spend this year, will, as you mentioned, go to improvements for cycling safety, improvements for signals for crossings, uh, focusing on some of our most vulnerable road users which are senior citizens and school children, cyclists, as we mentioned, and then also motorcycles, and uh, focusing also on campaigns to alert people uh, around the dangers of distracted driving, the importance of paying attention on the road, the importance of really being focused and aware when you travel. That seems to be the bigger thing. I, you hate to see people get tickets. I know police don't like to hand them out, but it seems like the, the enforcement has slipped when it comes to that. Should we not be going after the drivers when it comes to the distracted driving I mean that's proving that's worse than drunk driving so we certainly uh, have good partnership with the police they do I think a, a pretty great job given the size of the city and how much need there is we are also working on a proposal this year uh, with leadership from Mayor Tory to bring automated speed enforcement back into the city at some of the locations where we see that there is a significant challenge with regard to distracted driving and speeding in particular we know that when people get hit uh, at higher speeds, they're much more likely to suffer a fatality or a serious injury. So really managing speed is a big piece of that. What would you like to see? What do you think is the, the most important thing, the priority? Well, I think the priority for, uh, for the city is really to focus on our most vulnerable road users and also to really start to focus on changing the culture about how we travel in the city. Um, we've been hearing a lot from the public about their frustration, about how the, the fact that it's not happening fast enough. They really want to see and, and be assured that their daily commute is going to be safe and when they travel around the city and their kids travel to school that they're going to get there safely uh, and that is our commitment as well and so really trying to get as much as we can in terms of the engineering improvements out on the street as quickly as we can and really start to get uh, the education moving forward uh, you'll see a lot more this summer we were already in the process of adding a lot more signs a lot more signals you'll see a lot of mobile watcher speed signs which are the ones that show you your speed and and tell you how fast you're going okay. and hopefully help you correct your behavior Behavior, as well as more pavement markings and a number of other devices. Okay. Barbara, thank you very much for joining us. Hopefully they will make a difference.